Hi! In this video, we're going to make sense of the icons that are on the Unity display. And we're actually going to just be focusing on the icons that have the white backgrounds because those are the ones that carry meanings. As we get into the other videos, we'll explain more about the icons that are in these top two rows. I'm going to be demonstrating on the Unity 84 software, but the associations that we make today with the Unity 84 software, you can make with all of the other versions of Unity as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the school and the graduation cap. And the association for that is the word no, K-N-O-W, because when you go to school, you learn and then you know things. The dice are next, and the association for the dice is the word play, because when you're playing a game, a lot of times you're using dice. And game is actually another word that's associated with this icon of the dice. The next icon is the sun, and the word that the sun represents is the word like. And if we look at the sun, he's got a big smile on his face. It looks like the sun likes whatever is going on. And I know that I personally like when I feel the sun on my back. Here we have the hammer, and that represents the word work. Because if you're using a hammer, you're working on something. The next icon is money. And the word that that represents is have. Because we need to use money to get the things that we have. And honestly, we all need to have some money. The masks are the next icon, and they represent feelings. If you look, we have a mask with a smile that's happy, and a mask with a frown that's sad, and so that represents all of our feeling words. The book represents read because we read books. This is the manual sign for more, and so it represents the word more. Most of us are familiar with that. The shoe represents the word fast, because if you have the right shoes on, you can go really fast. Stop is pretty obvious. It's a stop sign, and it represents the word stop. If we jump up to this icon, it's a map, and that represents the word find, because you use a map to find where you're going. And also, there's a little trail with an X at the bottom, and if you dig where the X is, hopefully you'll find a treasure. In the next row, we have the boy reaching for a cookie because he wants a cookie, and this is the want icon. The next icon we have is the family. We see a mom and a dad and a boy, and they represent family. The dog represents the word come because when we tell a dog to come, usually it comes. The watch represents time because we tell time with a watch. And this picture of this hand represents do. There are a couple of associations that we can make. First, we have that string around the finger. When you tie a string around your finger, it helps you to remember to do something. Even though none of us have ever actually tied a string around our finger to remind us to do something, we all kind of know what that means. Another association on this icon is this wedding ring. When you get married, you say, I do. This is the think icon. This woman is thinking, and it looks like she thought of a good idea. That's why we have that light bulb. The elephants are big, and they represent the concept of big. The mountains with the sun coming up represent the word get. Because when the sun comes up in the morning, you have to get up and get out of bed. And also when the sun comes up, it gets lighter. When the sun goes down, it gets darker. So there's lots of little associations we can make for the word get. The rainbow represents color because there are lots of colors in the rainbow. The icon here is called bath and it represents the word wash because the boy is washing himself in the tub. Here we have the icon of the eye and that represents look because we look with our eyes. We have a snail that represents slow because snails move very slowly. We have a computer that the keyword for this icon is computer, but there are also other associations built into that that we'll see. We have the phone that represents say because you say things when you're talking on the phone. And this thumbs up means good. You give a thumbs up when you've done a good job. The ear represents hear because we hear with our ears. 
House represents live because many people live in the house. And green means go. So this green light represents the word go. The truck represents the word ride because we can ride in a truck. And the mom and her baby represent love because the mom loves her baby. The ambulance icon represents the word help because you need help, you might call an ambulance. This circle with the line through it is kind of the universal symbol for not, and in our system it represents concepts like not and don't and other negatives. We have the suit here, and that represents the word change because we change our clothes. The word most closely associated with the apple is the word eat because we can eat an apple. This icon here is actually three different cookie cutters, and it represents the word make because we can make cookies. The umbrella represents need because when it rains, we need an umbrella. And if you live in Arizona, you probably need an umbrella to stay safe from the sun. The thumbs down represents bad, like, ooh, that's a bad idea. We can watch TV, and so the word associated with TV is watch. We drink juice, and so the word associated with the juice icon is drink. This icon is called the kitchen icon, and it has a lot of different associations for the word turn. First of all, there's this revolving arrow here, kind of turning in a circle. You also, when you're stirring, turn the spoon in the pot. But I think probably the easiest one to, real, to remember or recognize is that we turn the stove on to cook something. The chest represents the word put because we put things in a chest. And the bed represents the word sleep because we sleep in a bed. So that's a quick, simple explanation of some of the different associations we could make with these icons. Tune in to our next video when we actually start to say some things.